Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back to my channel. This will be the second part of one of my framing videos. I am going to show you how I am going to frame these diamond paintings. I got this acrylic paint from Walmart. It has 24 colors. All right. I will put prices up or I will list the product in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to do is I actually did not seal any of these paintings. I will be sealing them after um, just because I don't want to have to take the extra time to um, wait for it to dry. So today's video you will need do something like this. You're going to need scissors, a paintbrush, your paints, your canvases. These canvases were on sale for the Memorial Day weekend sale and they were 10 of them for $12.49. I am going to be using Gorilla Glue to glue it on. Uh, you need, you'll need a rolling pin or something to roll. You will need water in a cup and possibly a washcloth. Also, I recommend covering your surface with uh, newspapers or something you don't care about because if you get this acrylic glue on anything, it is permanent and it will stain your clothes. So if you want to wear a smock, you can do that. Um, don't get any on your carpet if you do this indoors. And we're going to go ahead and get started. My husband is actually looking for my rolling pin right now. Ah! Kapoi! Yeah, that was not fun. Thank you, kiddo. Helping me. You are helping me. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for the help of Treyu. I'm going to try to do it again. <laughs> so, my husband picked out pink for this first one. And I'm going to cut these as close to the edge as I can get them without cutting off any of the beads because they measure nine and a half by nine and a half. I had to get canvases that are ten by ten. So that's the closest that they come in. I couldn't find any canvases that were smaller than that. So there will be a little bit of a border which is what the paint's gonna be for. And I'm only gonna paint the parts that I need to paint. And I'm only gonna glue, put the glue all around. That's gonna look so good, you guys. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> These are going to look so good. And we're making these into a calendar. So, um, right now I only have 10 of them. Um, I actually need two more. And Michael's was sold out for the other ones because they had a sale on, a, on two packs that I was going to buy. I also um, bought some. There we go. I also bought some AB drills from Joann's and I replaced them in every one of these canvases um, in certain areas for certain things because I wanted to make them a little bit more different than what everybody else's will look. So, all right. I'm going to be adding paint to the outside here 
and a little bit on the inside here because I'm not going to need much since most of it's going to be covered. I've never actually painted with acrylic paint before, so this is going to be a little bit of a learning process, I think. But we'll see how things go. I need my mom right now. Because my mom knows how to paint, like, her nails perfectly so the problem with me painting is I'm not I never can get it in one stroke my mom like always painted her nails perfectly <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised to say that this is for acrylic paint because it's so hard to paint with it Oh, it says the canvas is for acrylic paint? What is that? Mm. See, and I'm trying not to get no I think it paint. looks really good. Well, from far away, yeah, probably. Okay, so I'm going to do it just like this. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to put some glue down just like that. And then I'm going to take a brush and spread it out. And I'm just going to try to spread it as thin as I can because I don't want it to be too thick because I don't want it to be causing bubbles. And I'm trying to keep it in the white area as much as possible. And it says on the bottle that you have about five minutes of playtime yeah. with spreading it out. So you want to be pretty quick with spreading it out. So you don't want it to be dried up and having the flash on the opposite side is actually pretty helpful because I can see where it is wet exactly. Nice. So then I'm going to go ahead and lay this side flat as well. Spread it out. Stick the brush in water. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to roll it to push it down as best I can. So 
because I want it to adhere to the canvas. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Shoot. The reason it stuck is because I did not seal it first. So, it is a work in progress. You like it? <laughs> it says to clamp it or put something heavy on it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut this off again. And then I think it's easier to cut it at an angle too to make sure that you can get the edges perfectly cut. Because you don't want any of the canvas showing in your picture. If I trusted my husband, I'd have him cut these out, but I don't know about all that. <sighs> I'm the crafty one. I'm the builder. I'm the fixer. You know. Uh, so, I can't really leave it to him to do the artistic stuff. Especially since I'm very picky about how I like things done and he is less than picky. He will go with the flow, have this thing slapped together and falling off. He don't care. To me that looks perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. This water is blue. Ah! Whoopsie. I just ripped it off. Okay, so I'm going to do it the same way I did it last time. I'm going to go ahead and 
pick one side up and then I'm going to hold it in place because I do not want it to move. I want it to stay where it's at so that I can get it exactly where I want it. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the Gorilla Glue and through the canvas. And like I said before, I'm going to try to keep it on the white part, even though some of it, well, some of it is getting blue. I'm trying to keep the glue clear, which is why I got the clear glue. It doesn't smell too good either, but <laughs> it's not as bad as some glues, so I'm okay with that. Okay, having my light on helps quite a bit because I'm able to see how the glue is spreading on there and then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do it again on this side until I can see where the glue was from before I'm going to say you have about five minutes with this glue to spread it around before it starts to dry. And then it takes 24 hours to fully cure. They also recommend that you put something heavy on top of your item to compress it, clamp it. Uh, so I use heavy books or a heavy box. paintbrush in the water because it gets that Gorilla Glue on there and I don't think I can ever use that brush again for anything else. I wipe the tip off with the tip of my Gorilla Glue off with a washcloth and then I put the little cap on it to keep it from spilling out. going to be sealing the diamond paintings that I put on canvases. You will need Mod Podge gloss. You will need a container to put your Mod Podge in. You will need a paintbrush or something to spread your Mod Podge with. Um, You'll need your canvas and your diamond painting that you will be sealing. Uh, you will need a rolling pin. You will need a washcloth. And maybe an old toothbrush or a new toothbrush that's never been used would probably be better. I don't actually have one right now. You want to make sure that your washcloth is clean and you want to make sure that it doesn't have any, uh, any fuzziness to it or because you want to make sure, because you're going to be wiping your, 
down the diamond painting, so you really want to make sure that you don't get the stuff all over your diamond painting. Uh, so, all right, so my washcloth had a little bit of paint on it from yesterday, um, from doing the painting of the canvases, so, um, so you just want to shake this up. As far as I know, you can shake it. I've always shook it, so. Um, then I just pour some in. And I'm gonna need quite a bit, because I got two of them to do. some water now um, I did not come up with this um, this ceiling um, on my own I found it on YouTube um, probably a few months ago now by another creator and I don't know which one because I've seen a couple videos so I'm not sure which one came up with the original idea and I've tested this out many times and this is the best the best way that I see to seal a diamond painting so um, I just add a little bit of water to it to thin it out And then I just, let's see how far over, okay. Can you see that? I think so, okay. So I just added water to thin it out and then I just start um, brushing it on. Um, now I would, like I said, I would have taken a toothbrush and I would have brushed all of this out to make sure there's nothing um, getting sealed into the diamond painting. But I don't know what happened to the toothbrush I have for that and I don't have anything that I can use currently in place of it without using a toothbrush that uh, my kids are currently using. So I forgot to have my husband pick up another one and so I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and keep my fingers crossed that there's nothing in them that will get messed up. And then I will just continue to put this on there. And really, I only do this really honestly for um, popping drills or circular because circular has that gap in between, which means it's still sticky. So things could still stick to it if it falls off the wall or whatever. And this way it's secure for sure. Um, it does slip off the wall for any reason. They should all stick down pretty well. Um, and I'm gonna do a good chunk of this before I start the wiping method because it's so small. Uh, but you wanna start, you know, pretty much, if, I mean, the bigger your painting is, you don't want to let it be drying too much. So after I'm done with the ceiling, I'm going to actually um, seal the, the uh, paint part as well, which I've never done because I this is the first time I've painted and put them on canvases. So. Um,
So I'm gonna do about half of it. And then I'm gonna start doing the wiping. And you just wanna make sure that you get in between every single, every single row. Because you wanna make sure that they're all in there really well. And I believe this takes 48 hours to fully cure, if I remember correctly. Let's see if it says on here somewhere. 20, um, this is allow uh, 20 to 30 minutes between coats. Um, oh, it actually says it takes four weeks to fully cure, so. Um, so it does take, I guess, a lot of time to fully cure, but um, I didn't realize it was that long. But um, it seems like to me that it dries pretty fast, so, um, but, and it might actually dry faster because of the fact that, um, you are wiping it off in between. So I kind of try to do a visualization because once I wipe it off, I won't know where the line is. So I went until the moon. So when I, so after I'm done wiping, I will be able to tell that out of the way so what I do is I just like I said I, I look at I visually look at my towel to make sure that there's no nothing gonna get on it definitely don't want anything on it uh, so then I just begin to wipe back and forth I wipe in circles I do whatever I can to wipe off the act the excess. So, and I just keep moving the towel around to stop up as much as I can because I don't want, I don't want the diamonds covered. I really just want the in-betweens covered. I want in-between the diamonds covered. I don't really want and I'm also trying not to get too close to the edges of the because I don't know if the paint will come off it's supposed to be permanent which means it shouldn't come off but I'm not trying to wipe it off either so I'm gonna just continue to dab at it and wipe um, and you want to get you want to have your uh, washcloth moist for sure um, and it's definitely easier to tell in sections that are darker whether or not it's wiping off correctly um, I like the regular terry cloths better, but my, this is all my husband could find. Um, that was white because I didn't want um, colored washcloths. So this is all he could find at the time because I got these four said project because they are hard to get the they're hard to get the glue out of after so like they um after a while you see it seeps into the into the cloth and then you um then it will harden so you've got to wash them up right away 
And sometimes you might need more than one washcloth. Uh, but what, I, what I'm gonna do is just um, use it and then I'm gonna rinse it off. Um, if when this stops picking up, I will turn on the water and I will rinse it off to get the excess out of it. And you know it's actually picking it up when you wring out the towel and you see that the water is cloudy. You can see that when you wring it out. I want to apologize to, um, I'm filming in the bathroom and my bathroom, it only has one setting and so it turns the fan on when the light comes on automatically. So I apologize in advance for that because our kitchen is just, it's not set up right now to be able to film in the kitchen. Oops, sorry guys. So I was not able to, to film in our kitchen area um, and our, ta our table, the legs on our table broke uh, when we were moving. So we have to get stuff to fix it and we haven't um, had a chance yet. So I have to do this on the counter in the bathroom and so I sincerely apologize for anything that so I'm trying to make sure I talk loud, but it also echoes. Um, so I am trying to make sure that I am projecting enough to hear me over the fan. But um, your diamonds should not lose their sparkle at all as long as you get all of the Mod Podge off of it, off of them. So as long as it's only in between, then it should be all good. And you can just keep wiping it if you want to make sure that you're getting it out of there and just keep switching sections so that uh, of where the Mod Podge is. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around because it's a little bit further away from me so that I can see on this side better. Make a piece of paper on it or something, I don't know yellow so I guess somehow the paper got up there wiping away at it until I can just see the thin layer in between and some of the water from the washcloth is mixing with it and making it really like sud up so I just want to make sure that I get the suds off of the top layer of the diamond like I said, you only want this stuff on the in-between. We don't want it. Let's see if you can see that. You can see the suds in between. It looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it this way. It looks like it looks like some of the glue or some of the paint um, actually came off. So I've got to be very careful on that because it's obviously uh, I, like I, I might have to touch that up before I 
Mod Podge over it, which I probably will, just to, just to be safe because I don't want that to show, especially since it's in the front. So now I'm gonna go ahead and continue putting the Mod Podge on here. And remember we stopped about right here. So this tells you how far over you need to go. And if you overlap too, it's okay. It's not no big deal because you're gonna be wiping off the excess anyway. So like some of the stuff is coming off from my washcloth which I don't really like okay. 
there's just some more that I have to wipe down a little bit. So that is what I got for you. You should see that it still sparkles like so. They, it does not lose any of its sparkle as long as you wipe off the diamonds. So I'm going to brush this out. My husband found me a toothbrush I could use. So, I'm just going to brush it out. Brush, brush, brushy, brush, brush. <laughs> My kids love that elbow song. And it also helps that dad sounds just like Elmo. I hope you guys watched that video. Because that was a ball to make. My husband is kooky. I will list it in the cards for stuff you should check out. Alright, so I should have covered every inch of this canvas with a brush. And then we will get to I'm probably gonna have to make more of the Mod Podge water because it looks like it might not be enough. So.
You want yeah. that one over there too? Or no? Okay. Mm -mm. I'm just showing what it looks like. I want my pipe off of there. So. <laughs> Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.